makes you talk. I find out the real secret of your identity. Uh, never, never. I will not compromise the honor and reputation of the woman I love. I'm a highly trained interrogator, and I can make you talk. Uh, never. You can put me in a little square room. You can tie me in a chair. You can turn on the spotlight. What? What, what? What did you say? I said you could put me in a little square room. No, no, after that. I said you could tie me in a chair, turn on the spotlight. Good heavens, you! Me? You're an ancient. Well, yes. <laughs> Just apologize, I, I had no idea. <laughs> apologize, what for? Well, now that you're an ancient, things are different. They are? Of course. You mean you're not going to interrogate me? <laughs> of course not. I mean, now I know about reservation. That is, uh, highly trained professionals. You and I have been traveling this uh, difficult road together. Yes, well, we usually do recommend reservations. <laughs> now, tell me, what time did you get here? About uh, half past six, I think. So you've been on to more than a lot. On who? The ambassador. Oh, yes. I am definitely on to him. <laughs> <laughs> what made you first suspect him? I think it was when he said we could make the earth move together. Ah! The bomb! The what? You fucking would have said. I'm glad you are. Of course, you realize she's in disguise. Don't you think it's a bit obvious? What? For the maid to disguise herself as a maid. No, no, no. See, she's not really a maid. She came over the wall and uh, now she's a maid in England. Maid in England? <laughs> Yeah, all right, sir. But I think we should definitely let him feel his way around. 